Hello everyone and welcome to the .NET Core podcast, the only podcast which is devoted to .NET Core, ASP.NET Core, EF Core, SignalR, and not forgetting the .NET Core community itself. I am your host, Jamie Gaprogman taylor and this is episode zero, an introduction to the podcast. In this episode, I'll tell you why I created the podcast, what my goals for it are, and what you should expect from listening to it. So let's sit back, open a terminal, type in .NET New Podcast, and let the show begin. As I said earlier, I am Jamie Gabrogman Taylor. You may recognize my voice from either the Waffling Taylors or the Dove Otaku podcasts, or from my guest appearances on the Cynical Developer podcast. This is the first episode in what will hopefully become a very frequent .NET Core specific podcast. The idea here is that I'd noticed that there aren't any podcasts which are directly related to and specific to .NET Core. Sure, there are a lot of .NET Framework-specific and Microsoft-specific podcasts, and even a few general development podcasts, which have had episodes on .NET Core and have featured prominent figures from the .NET Core community, but there aren't any which are specifically about .NET Core. I'm hoping to change that. My goal for this podcast is to be the .NET Core podcast. It's why I picked that name. I want the episodes of this podcast to cover things like .NET Core, Entity Framework Core, ASP.NET Core, SignalR, and .NET Standard. To that end, I'm hoping to create a whole bunch of episodes about those topics. I want to reach out to the .NET Core community, and I want to talk to developers who use .NET Core. I want to talk to them about the differences and similarities between .NET Core and .NET Framework. Things like the developer experience, the tooling support, and the OS support. I'm also going to be looking to folks who haven't used .NET Core, but have used other .NET platforms, like Mono and Xamarin, for instance. We'll talk about what might be stopping them from moving to Core. I'm hoping to reach out to a few of the folks from the Core teams at Microsoft as well. You know, the folks who are right at the forefront of the .NET Core technology. So who am I and what makes me so special? Why should I create a .NET Core podcast? Why shouldn't someone from Microsoft create one? Well, there are a few podcasts which have covered specific parts of .NET Core. Shows like MS Dev Show do a wonderful job of having people on from both Microsoft and the community at large. There's Coding Blocks, another fantastic podcast. The hosts on this show talk about .NET Core and .NET Standard from time to time, but it isn't devoted to .NET Framework or .NET Standard, and it actually covers a lot of topics that developers do need to know. Even shows like The Cynical Developer. Again, I've been on two episodes of that talking about .NET Core and how I think it's a brilliant thing. But again, that's a show which touches lightly on each of the subjects rather than a big deep dive, which is what I'm hoping for for this show. Even shows like Steve R. Dallas Smith's Weekly Dev Tip Show, which contains amazing nuggets of information for any developer. Granted, he does use ASP.NET Core and .NET Core as a background for these tips, but it is mostly a dev-related podcast rather than a .NET Core or EF Core specific podcast. But that makes the advice given by Steve and the Coding Blocks folks and the MS Dev Show folks and the Cynical Developer folks and all the other podcasts perfect for any developer, regardless of their language or framework. And that's actually dumbing down all of the hard work that these folks put in. They put in a lot of effort, you know. But I feel like there's a gap and I want to fill that gap. I've been writing about .NET Core since around November 2016. I'd been using it for a while before then, but I've been writing about it and participating in the community ever since November 2016. If you ask any of the people I know outside of development, they'll be like, oh, Jamie, he never shuts up about that .NET Core thing. I mean, that's not quite true, but, and he's always talking about .NET Core and how brilliant it is. All right, that is true. I mean, it is pretty swish. Plus, at this point, at least whilst this episode was being recorded, I have a year and a half of experience about writing about and in .NET Core. And you can find all of that if you head over to .netcore.caprogman.com. So that's D-O-T-N-E-T-C-O-R-E dot G-A-P-R-O-G-M-A-N dot com. I must have picked the worst URL in the entire world. Or if you send me a tweet 
at .NET Core blog. So that's at D-O-T-N-E-T-C-O-R-E-B-L-O-G. I'll add links into the show notes so that you don't have to take note now. But why start a .NET Core podcast now? Why not two years ago when .NET Core 1.x RTM was on the horizon? Well, there's an old adage which states, wait for version 2. That way all the release bugs are all ironed out. Sure, version 1.x was a game changer, but there were a lot of issues with it, as we'll cover on a soon-to-be-released episode on the .NET standard. Things like system.xml were missing from the RTM, and there was a lot of backlash about the UI and the fact that Microsoft didn't ship a cross-platform UI framework. But, as we'll find out in a later episode... There are tons of solutions for this, including a promised update to a specific framework whose name begins with an X. What about the future of the podcast? Well, I've already got the next 14 episodes planned out and ready to go. A pro tip for all budding podcasters out there, have a bunch of episodes ready to go before you release anything. The current plan is to release monthly episodes and see how people react to it. I might be completely wrong, and a .NET Core podcast might not be needed but I have a feeling that there's a gap in the market for a .NET Core-specific podcast. So all of you who want to be my competitors should jump in and create your own .NET Core podcast now. That way, we can all get together and compare nuts. So that's going to do it for this episode, I think. Remember to check out the show notes in whatever podcatcher you're using for a bunch of useful links, and to head over to .NET Core.caprogman.com to read all of the stuff that I've written about .NET Core. I will warn you though, most of my articles are pretty long. We're talking one and a half to three thousand words each. As I record this episode, I'm actually working through a bunch of projects and live streaming them. Uh, There will be a link in the show notes. Everything that I put up on YouTube is live streamed on Twitch beforehand. Uh, The address for that is twitch.tv slash gaprogman, G-A-P-R-O-G-M-A-N. And that happens before it goes up on YouTube. So if you want to be involved and connect with me whilst I'm working on something, or even ask me any questions, comment on my code, tell me how bad my code is, head over there and let me know what you think. Send me a tweet and let me know whether you're actually interested in a .NET Core podcast. After all, I might be wrong, and there might not be a gap in the market for a .NET Core podcast. And if you know any other developers who are interested in .NET Core, let them know about this show. You lucky listeners are in at the beginning, so you'll be able to take the journey into podcast wonderland with me. Anyway, I'll leave it there before I start waffling too much. Hopefully I'll catch you again in another slightly longer episode. 